Anyone who has ever had the indescribable good fortune to fly into space has always described the experience as incomparably memorable. The majestic view of our home planet as it spins in space, so quiet and peaceful from a distance, is likely to have left a lasting impression on all astronauts. However, not all reports of the space travelers' experiences paint such a peaceful picture. In fact, some astronauts have already reported inexplicable, sometimes eerie experiences that have happened to them while in space. Now you too can hear about the mysterious reports that have made our jaws drop. Subscribe to our channel and join us on our galactic journey to the most amazing phenomena and mysteries of space. Be sure to give us a thumbs up to show that you like the content of our videos. Now let's take a look together at the controversial statements made by some astronauts that made big headlines. Unexplained Objects It's May 5, 1981, as cosmonaut Vladimir Kavalyanok completes his work on the Salyut Orbital Space Station when he looks out of the porthole of his spacecraft during his subsequent return flight. He can't believe his eyes. The almost unbelievable phenomena that Kavalyanok observed during his spaceflight were described by the cosmonaut ten years later at a public press conference. He described an indefinable object that seemed to defy the rules of physics completely. The object had an elliptical shape and seemed to rotate rapidly. After a few moments, the apparition went out in a golden explosion. A second detonation followed, at the end of which two golden shimmering spheres appeared. Subsequently, the cosmonaut perceived a white smoke formation before his spacecraft finally entered the twilight zone of Earth and the amazing phenomena disappeared from the space traveler's field of vision. Curious Music In May 1969, preparations for the first manned lunar landing were in full swing. Two months before Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin set foot on the Earth's satellite, the crew of Apollo 10 visited the immediate reaches of the moon to conduct a dress rehearsal for the planned lunar visit. Thus, astronauts Tom Stamford, Gene Cernan, and John Young were busy examining the Earth-facing side of the moon from a distance of about nine miles. While the astronauts were taking photos of the lunar landscape, however, mysterious noises were emanating from their headphones. In fact, it seemed as if the inexplicable sounds were making a melody. No one could explain what was producing the mysterious moon music. In all, the phenomenon lasted for more than an hour. Official statements later said that the sounds were probably due to radio interference. However, the astronauts involved, who were used to technical disturbances of this kind, said they had never heard anything like it before. UFOs at the Moon Landing? Maurice Chatelain, the former head of NASA's communication systems, published the controversial book our Cosmic Ancestors in 1975. As the title of the work suggests, the retired NASA employee was an advocate of so-called pre-astronautics. This parascientific thesis pursues the approach that the Earth was populated many millennia ago by extraterrestrial intelligences, which had active exchange with humans at that time. Monumental buildings like the Egyptian pyramids or the world-famous Stonehenge are said to indicate the ancient visitors. One passage in Our Cosmic Ancestors, in particular, caused heated discussions. The section tells of the last moments before the manned moon landing in 1969. While Neil Armstrong was descending the ladder of the spaceship, two UFOs are said to have flown over the lunar surface. Edwin Buzz Aldrin is said to have captured the unknown flying objects in several photographs. After Armstrong had stepped on the moon's surface, there was radio silence for two minutes. The official explanation of NASA justifies this with the circumstance that one of the two television cameras overheated, whereby the transmission to Earth broke off briefly. To this day, opinions are divided on the question of which images were withheld from the Earth's population during this period. Neil Armstrong never confirmed the rumors about the flying saucers. Despite this, Many individuals are firmly convinced that the first moon landing was accompanied by an eerie encounter of the third kind. Eerie Knocks 
In 2003, Yang Liwei advanced to become the first Chinese space traveler in history. However, the space mission aboard Shenzhou 5 was accompanied by an exceedingly strange incident. During a quiet night on October 16th, Yang Liwei suddenly noticed unexplained sounds that he simply could not place in any logical context. Later, the astronaut said that the sounds sounded like someone tapping the body of the spacecraft with a hammer. Taking into account the fact that space is a vacuum, which has no conductive medium for sound, the Chinese report was initially dismissed as a misleading sensory illusion. All the more inexplicable, therefore, was the fact that two further Chinese astronauts on later missions heard similar knocking noises. Galactic Snake Franklin Story Musgrave participated in a total of six space flights. There are few people who have left our home planet more often than this U.S. American. Between the years 1983 and 1996, Musgrave spent almost 54 days outside of Earth. The almost unbelievable story that the astronaut told in 1994 remains unforgotten to this day. The astronaut reported that on two of his missions, he saw indefinable, snake-like objects in space. The objects were estimated to have been about 25 feet long. Beyond that, Musgrave is of the firm conviction that the universe bustles. With the most diverse life forms, essentially, the former astronaut believes there are innumerable civilizations in the universe, clearly more developed than mankind. Mysterious light phenomena. U.S. astronaut Leroy Chow once said that it was the height of arrogance to assume that we humans were alone in the universe. This statement is supported by a mysterious incident that occurred in 2005 during the time in question. Chow was on duty for six and a half months as commander of the International Space Station. As the astronaut was repairing some antennas about 230 miles above the Earth's surface, his gaze crossed an eerie light phenomenon that he simply could not explain. Specifically, he witnessed some luminous objects arranged symmetrically to one another. The linear light formations then flew past Chow and disappeared into the infinite expanse of the universe. While many people are firmly convinced that the phenomena were inexplicable formations of galactic origin, other people argue that the phenomena actually had a terrestrial source. Strangely formed UFO. When we think of a classic UFO from the science fiction world, we see in our mind's eye a typical flying saucer, the mysterious flying object that the two astronauts, Ed White and James McDivitt, saw over Hawaii, had, however, nothing in common with this characteristic shape. The two men described a metallic object from whose fuselage inexplicable limb-like structures were sticking out. Glowing object. During his astronaut activity. Musa Manero spent 541 days in space altogether. However, one particular day in 1991 was to be exceedingly different from the rest of the space traveler's work assignments. While Manero was on his way to the Mir space station, he spotted an elongated structure, which he had the presence of mind to capture with his camera. In the pictures, it is clear to see how the bright object seems to light up again and again. While the official explanations call the film structure nothing but ordinary space debris, Manero has always stubbornly denied this thesis. Gordon Cooper's sightings. When NASA introduced the first seven astronauts in its history on April 9th, Gordon Cooper was the youngest of all the would-be space travelers. On May 15th, 1963, the time had finally come. Cooper made his first space flight as part of the Mercury Atlas IX mission. Two years later, the American was also to be part of the core team of the Gemini program. Even more memorable than the space flights, however, is an eerie apparition Cooper had glimpsed as early as 1951. While the then Air Force pilot was on a routine flight, he is said to have suddenly encountered a gigantic collection of UFOs. However, this was not the last eerie sighting that the American was to witness. While Cooper was aboard the Mercury capsule in May 1963. During the last of a total of 22 orbits of the Earth, he noticed a shimmering green object that seemed to be heading toward him at an extreme speed. The astronaut's report was also confirmed by the records of the Mutia tracking station in Western Australia, which located the object on its radars. Unknown object on the lunar surface. 
Alan Bean, became the fourth man in history to walk on the surface of the moon on November 19th. The astronaut, who completed his two space flights between the years 1969 and 1973, placed a special isotope battery on the Earth's satellite during his lunar landing, which would provide the necessary energy for later experiments. After about seven hours and 45 minutes, the US American finally returned aboard his lunar module Intrepid. During his moon journey, meanwhile, Allen says he saw something shining on the surface of the Earth's satellite, which reminded him of earthly shoe leather. Until today, nobody knows what this mysterious object was about. Alan Bean died on May 26, 2018, at the age of 86. Now it's your turn. Which report amazed you the most? We're already looking forward to reading your thoughts, feedback, and suggestions on today's video in the comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the exciting articles that we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and see you next time.